Welcome back YouTube. This is Courage Over Fear. Uh, today I'm going to make a video on how to wrap your hands for um, boxing, MMA, or any kind of sport that requires hitting a punching bag. Now let me move this over just a little bit. There, so you can actually see the bag and see what I'm doing. Now first off, what you want to do is you want to be able to protect your knuckles and protect your wrist from bending. And if you have any jewelry, remember to remove it or you will bend it and it will end up staying on your finger, cutting your finger, you can even cut your finger half off if you hit the bag hard enough. You want to get you some surgical gauze and fold it to where it will fit the top of your knuckles, like so. And then put it over the top of your knuckles. Now, you want to have two sets of these uh, hand wraps. Mine are made by Everlast. Um, I think Everlast has very good quality, and that's why I use them. Um, a lot of people think that those ones made by that Thai company are better than the Everlast, but that's your own preference, whatever your preference is. But make sure you have two of these per hand. First off, you want to place your thumb to the thumb loop. You want to place your thumb to the thumb loop. And then crisscross your hand down by your wrist, over your wrist, and then crisscross it up by your knuckles and then back behind your knuckles. Hold it with your thumb while you put the gauze over your knuckles and then start securing the gauze onto your hand with your hand wrap. Go a couple times over the gauze to get it secured. Make sure it's directly over your knuckles. And then once you feel secured, get back by your thumb, crisscross down by your wrist again. And then crisscross up, go between your pinky and your ring finger. And then you're going to crisscross again around your wrist. And now in between your middle finger and your ring finger, go around your wrist, in between your middle finger and your pointer, and then you'll end up going, fix this, going around your wrist and ending up with your first wrap around your wrist, like so. You've got it in between your fingers now. So now that you've got your first wrap on, get it secured around your knuckles. Make sure it's on there nice. Go ahead and pat it down so you've got a good secure cushion on your knuckles. Take your second wrap. Put your thumb to the thumb loop like you did it the first time. Crisscross down by the wrist. This time you're going to go ahead and wrap a little bit of your wrist. Wrap it kind of tight. Not too tight where you're cutting off your blood circulation, but tight enough to where you're going to keep your wrist secure. And then you can go ahead and you're going to make an X effect like this. And then go to the back of your knuckles, across your knuckles, across the back of your knuckles again, and then crisscross down this way around the wrist. And then crisscross back across the top, back, across the back of the knuckles, crisscrossing back down. Now, while you're crisscrossing right now, is to keep that wrist stable. So go ahead, bring it across the wrist, and then you're crisscrossing it again, crisscross down again. And now you're going to end up with this little piece. You're going to end up just wrapping the wrist securely. And that right there, by the time you're done, this is what the back of your hand should look like. You have it, you know, that little grip area. Your wrist is secure. You have an X pattern over the top of your hand, so your wrist doesn't really move this way. It moves a little bit this way. But, and then you've got the secure link in between your fingers. The knuckles are well padded. And it feels nice 
nice and tight and secure to where it almost feels like you've got a glove on. And that's how you wrap your hand for boxing, MMA, kickboxing, or any type of sport that you use a punching bag. Now later on, I'm going to go ahead and show some basic boxing tips for those who would like to learn a little bit about boxing. I did box for three years. Uh, it's been about a year and a half since I last stepped in the ring. Um, I no longer uh, box competitively. I now do it in, uh, you know, in my own home on my punching bag for uh, recreational purposes or just uh, to stay fit. Um, and to stay training in my mind. But this is how you wrap your hand. If you got any questions, comments, put in the box below and let me know. This is Kurt Fear saying stay safe, be safe, and prep while you can.